Aloha all and welcome back to Let's Play Mario vs. Donkey Kong. I'm Paper Mario Guy and we are going to continue 5-2, um, the second part. I just loaded up right here. I did a bit of practicing so hopefully, um, you know, the problems I were having uh, previously will be, you know, gone. Um, and this level isn't really as hard as I was making it look uh, when I was playing it. Um, in the last episode, I, I just had quite a bit of fail, uh, as sometimes I do in, in a game like this. But in a game like this, fail is to be expected, and if you don't, then uh, you have really high expectations for, you know, other players. So, let's get a two for one, knock this dude down, and get the blue package, activate this red switch, and we're good to go. This, like I said, this isn't really that hard of a level. It just, um,. You know, you just, you gotta be a little patient, um, and that's not exactly one of my best qualities. I'm not exactly the most patient person. I like to rush through, especially because, uh, you know, if, if, I, if I have the chance to get a high score, then I'm gonna try to go for that high score. Um, and as you can see, I did get the high score, so, uh, I didn't even get that when I was practicing, so that's, that's a pretty good run if I do say so myself, and I do say so myself. So let's go for the red package. Booyakasha! Oh yeah! Alright, I love that saying, by the way. Biyakisha. I, I should trademark that. I don't know. <laughs> Obviously, I can't trademark it. Um, I think it's a reference, uh, like, I think it originally started out as a reference to, um, a movie. I can't think of the name of the movie off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure that that's what it started out as. Um... If anybody know, <laughs> happens to know what movie I'm referencing without me referencing, um, go ahead and, uh, you know, tell me, but, you know, I'm not sure. Ah, ah, crap, crap. So this level, um, this world has a few levels in it that, uh, gives me some problems, um, and I think it's just, uh, these two in particular, 5-2 and 5-3, those, those seem to have, uh, given me some problems in, in my, my playthroughs of this game, but I should be able to get it, you know, keyword is should, oh, I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna make it, oh, I should've jumped, I should've jumped, see, um, you know, let's retry, I'll lose a life, but I'm gonna retry this, see if I can get a, you know, better run at this, cause I screwed up a few times. Cause I, you know, I could probably get the high score for this level, as long as I, uh, you know, don't screw up. But, again, as I was saying earlier, you know, screw up and fail is supposed to be expected, um, in an LP like this. So, um, speaking of fail, um, you know, I was playing some, uh, what is it? Oh my god, are you kidding me? I need to really move a, a little bit quicker, but, uh, um, speaking of fail, uh, I was watching E3 yesterday, and, you know, Microsoft really failed. I'm sorry. I, I, I mean, I got a request to talk about E3, and I was going to anyway, but, you know, seriously, like, I mean, I'm gonna get into Nintendo in a second, and how, like, happy I was with Nintendo's press conference, but, like... No! Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, my God, that would have been... I would have killed myself if I didn't get through. Um, but, you know, Microsoft... It, I'm an Xbox 360 owner. I actually don't own a Wii. Um, so go figure. But I, I mean, I am so disappointed with Microsoft's E3 conference. Um, like, I was more disappointed... Like, I was more disappointed with Microsoft's E3 um, than I was, like, happy with Nintendo's E3. Like, I... You guys have no idea. I mean, especially if you don't own a 360. Like the thing, the thing about the 360. The, the reason why that pisses me off so much is that you know every 360 owner prides himself on owning this great, wonderful console that has all this power and all this capability and all this technology to be, you know, the best system. I mean, granted, Nintendo just makes generally better games, but it has that possibility just to be, like, the best system of the new generation. And it's just to see, like, all the power and capability of the 360 just, you know, put to waste with something as stupid and trivial as Kinect. It, it's just, it's disappointing. It, it really makes me, like, 
wish that I had a Wii, and I wish I, I still had Nintendo, because, you know, seeing how well, like, like what they have in store, <laughs> and the direction that Microsoft is going in, it just, you know, it's, it's a, a bit disappointing, and I'm not getting killed by these bombs. These bombs, if you run into them, one hit KO. Yes, yes, that's all I needed, sweet. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna throw you over here. All you need is one, uh, one little square. So, woo, 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 woo. Boom. And that—that's actually some pretty good time. But yeah, that's—that's that's the one thing that I just—I mean, connect from a, as an Xbox 3 owner and an Xbox 3 fan, 360 fan. I have to say that I am terribly disappointed with uh, connect and natal and all like whatever you want to call it. Um. It, it's just, you know, the only thing that Microsoft really provided me is because I'm a big Halo fan. It's like the only first person shooter I play anymore. Um, I'm a big Halo fan, and there was a bit of more Reach stuff. And that was good, but otherwise, that was awful. Um, as far as Sony goes, I don't really know because I didn't want Sony to be perfectly honest. Um, I don't own a PS3. I never, um,. Like desire to own a PS3. I'm never going to own a PS3. Um, you know that's that's just how things go. Uh, that's that's the way the world works with me. I just I have n I have no interest um, in getting a PS3. So you know don't don't get in a hissy fit because you're a PS3 owner or anything. I, I just you know I'm not impressed by the system at all. Um, so I did not watch. Uh, you know, micro or Sony's press conference, um, but I'm sure it's better than Microsoft's. Um, and then Nintendo, of course. Um, Nintendo. I mean, if you haven't heard about some of the stuff Nintendo has, uh, you know, come out with, um, then allow me to, you know, interform, uh, inform you a little bit of the epicness that was the 2010 Nintendo E3 conference. So, right off the bat, you should know that um, there are a slew of new games coming out. Um, majority of them uh, that, that were released are actually for the 3DS, which in and of itself is going to probably be like the one thing that, you know, brings me back to Nintendo. I've been, wanting, I've been craving to buy a Wii for a while now again, because I made, well, I didn't make the mistake, honestly. Like, you know, I know the Wii's a great system and all, and has great games, but I know, you know, it wasn't a mistake to sell it. Uh, because I did use my 360, and regardless of whether the 360, how the 360 is doing or not, you know, I've gotten hundreds of hours of play. Oh my god, uh, Ken Balls suck, by the way. Um, but I've got, I've got a hundred, I've got hundreds of hours of play out of my 360 in the last, like, you know, close to three years, so... But, like, as far as a Wii, like, I've been wanting a Wii again for a while, because I sold my Wii. Um, because, you know, as a 12-year-old, uh, when I bought my 360, or when I bought my Wii, and when I actually bought my 360, um, no, 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 you're not getting me with the same thing twice. Uh, you know, it's, it's hard to save money, and that's actually why I sold my Wii, because, you know, I sold my Wii to someone who was willing to, you know, help me out and give me a lot more money than what, uh, you know, my total package on the Wii was worth, so, I mean, I really appreciate that from them, but, th I'm, I'm getting completely off topic here, no, 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 no way, no way, damn it, alright, uh, okay, focus, E3 and Nintendo, okay, so, I've been, yeah, basically, I, I mean, without saying it, a, a, you know, a fourth time or anything, I've been wanting to get a Wii for a while now, and this pretty much solidifies my, you know, guarantee of getting another Wii. Um, but more than anything, uh, just getting a 3DS again. Or, uh, well, getting a... Th not, not again. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me right now. Um, but basically, getting the 3DS, I plan on getting it on release with, you know, whatever the release games are. Or, well, at least whatever the good release games are, because, you know, most of the time, systems and you know, stuff, or, <laughs> uh, have a few bad games, but, um, yeah, uh, some of the things that were announced, Kirby's Epic Yarn, which I'm officially deeming the greatest name for video game ever, um, <laughs> and it also has, like, one of the greatest, like, abbreviations ever, it's just key, 
Kirby is key, so that's that's always lovely. Um, Kirby's Epic Yarn looks pretty cool. I like the idea. Uh, you know, I hope that I hope it turns out to be like a fantastic game. Um, Kid Icarus. I never played the original, but it seems like a pretty uh, fun game, and I'll definitely be picking it up because you know, never playing a Kid Icarus game, this is my perfect chance to you know play one. Um, Donkey Kong Country is getting a new game, um, which is fantastic because I love the Donkey Kong ser uh, Country series. Um, Ocarina of Time, the game that my channel is currently triumphing right now, is getting um, you know. Uh, a remake for the 3DS, which is cool, because Ocarina of Time on the Go is, uh, you know, A-OK -okay with me. I'm gonna actually exit the level and just finish my, my conversation. Um, um, but, you know, the biggest thing, and this is what I'm gonna talk about in the next episode, too, um, is Paper Mario 4. Instant, instant buy for the 3DS for me. But I will continue this discussion in episode 10, alright? Toodles, guys.